Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Are you putting together a new Grill to Go X200? I am, as a matter of fact. And what makes the Grill to Go X200 so awesome? Well, it says it's true infrared, which we've never used before, so we'll see if it works. They claim that it cooks without drying. Cooks without drying? Yeah, without drying the food out. Oh. So. So it's a little moisture. So, do you have the grill handy? So, what's the grill look like? This is a grill here. Well, it's got this funky grill. So it's almost solid, but it has very little slots in it. And they say this, when you're done, pull it out and clean it with soap and water? Yep. Yeah. So... And make sure, when you start it, make sure that the little slots in here aren't clogged when they give this little tool here. To just kind of scrape to make sure everything's cleaned out. Mm -hmm. So what's one of the reasons why we like this little grill? Because it's small and it's going to fit in our storage uh, containers that we currently are using. Yeah, so the RV's over here and we want to be able to store it in those storage areas down there in a plastic... Uh, what do you call those? Tubs? Mm -hmm. Anyway, a tote. And this, this happened to be the right size for that, so we just picked this up today. So once again, we're going to... Uh, test it get, out tonight for dinner. <laughs> test it out for dinner. We're going to make some chicken, I'm going to make some ribs, and see how dirty we can get it. And then we're going to see how hard it is to clean, and see how well it cooks, and we'll tell you about it when we're done. Okay, for the next thing we're going to do with our new portable grill here is, since it's brand new, we're going to season it. So the way that works is Sherry, which is watching over here, is going to coat these with uh, oil and we have to let it cook at high temperature for 15 minutes. Is that right? I'm being cued. And that's to help season this. And what's the purpose of that? So the foods don't stick. So foods don't stick and what? Easier cleanup. And for easier cleanup. It's better for searing. So, that's the next step here. We're going to coat it with some oil. We're going to fire it up, heat it for 15 minutes, and then tonight we're going to cook some wings, chicken wings, and some ribs, beef ribs. So we'll see how they go. Okay, so we've uh, oiled it all up and turned it on high, and we're letting it burn off I guess for 15, 10 to 15 minutes and this is what it looks like when she's burning. Anyway, it makes, it smokes pretty good. What did you say we had? We have some champagne. Champagne? Yeah. And then, that's champagne right there? Yeah. So. We're going to have some but I had to get my, take care of my kitty first. So, does that mean we can have some now? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh, gotta go, guys. Bye. So now that we preheated it, you said that it made the grill turn kind of brownish. A bronze color. A bronze color. And that's exactly what it did. So we're ready to cook. Woohoo. And we got some goodies over here to get ready to cook. So we're going to fire it up. I think it fired right up. Wow, pretty impressive. And you don't have to burn this quite as hot as a regular one, right? Right, the cooking time is quicker and the temperature can be reduced by about 30%. Because, you know, if I was cooking, I'd probably burn it. <laughs> we'll see how I do this first time. Okay, time for the food test. I don't know if chicken do that. Cook. Cook. 
So we just finished using our new grill. And so what did you think of it? It cooks pretty fast. Um, I think it'll take me a little couple times to get used to it. But uh, so far so good. We'll see how it tastes. And so we cooked tonight. We had some chicken wings and we marinated those in a garlic herb marinade. Garlic herb. And then we did some the ribs. Um, I don't know what kind of cut they are, but they're a rib. And we marinated those in <laughs> something that looked good. Mr. Stubbs or Mr. something. Mr. Stubbs. And so we got some wine here. Got Cinder by our side. We're ready to dive in, so we're turning off the camera from this point. Um, that was our review of the Grill 2 Grill to Go X20. Charboil. By, by Char what? Charboil. Charboil. So, anyway, um, so far it's so good. It seemed like a good price. We seem to like how it performs. It's compact, it's easy to put into the uh, uh, storage bins. So, we give it a thumbs up. Cheers. Cheers.